Hello and welcome to this lecture where we will initiate the process of deployment of sample node application on a fleet of EC2 instances backed by Auto Scaling Group. But before we do this, I have a question. How do we ensure that the EC2 instances are actually ready to serve the traffic? So what I'm asking is, how do we ensure that these EC2 instances made available by Auto Scaling Group, they have application successfully deployed and they are up and running? That is, application is up and running on these EC2 instances. So technically what I'm asking is, when the status of EC2 instance with the auto scaling group is in service that is auto scaling group has taken these ec2 instances in its service at that point what is the guarantee that application has been successfully deployed and it is up and running for that we have something called auto scaling group life cycle hooks we will see that and we will do a hands-on and while we are doing hands-on we'll continue talking about it conceptually so that it becomes more and more clear okay so first things first let us create a launch configuration okay Give it a name, test LC, choose an AMI. This is going to be very important. So why don't we go here and yes, this is the AMI. Okay. Choose instance type, T2 micro should do for us. The IAM role, because we ultimately need to copy the package from S3 to uh, EC2 instance. And then in advanced details, keep everything as it is. Make it bigger so that we can read the user data that we are going to copy here. Okay, so most of it we already understand if I'm not wrong. That is yum update, then the node part, then the PM2 part, we will although talk about why we have PM2 installation and usage here and then instance ID part and then the last two commands are where we have no clue as to what is happening. Let us park it for now. We will revisit this. Okay. Great. And then let us select an existing security group, launch wizard one, and keep here that we already have, okay? I think we're good, are we? Test LC, yes. The role is there, user data is there, security group is there and yeah keep here we're good and now let us create an auto scaling group let us give it the name test asg please give your auto scaling group whatever name you choose to issue through these commands Okay. This is very important as well as for life cycle hook. Test ASG. Next, 
select all the subnets we have already gone through this next no load balancer as of now although in future we will add one no instances as of now as well because first we need to ensure that we have a lifecycle hook then we will spin up some ec2 instances and we are done create auto scaling group and now is the time to create lifecycle hook come under instance management and here click on create lifecycle hook we can give it any name but we should give it the name that we have in the user data section test hyphen hook it's completely up to you whatever name you want to give but whatever name you give here please update it here now this is the life cycle hook for install for launching of ec2 instances so you have two sort of life cycle hooks one for instance launch and other for instance terminate Heartbeat time is 3600 second and default result is abandoned. So this is what is happening here. Because we will create this lifecycle hook. When the user data script will run, it will run till this point. Okay. And then because of the presence of life cycle hook and since this life cycle hook is for instance launch as soon as instance is launched auto scaling group will put it in pending wait status and all these installations will happen up to here okay and then we have two options either we wait for the heartbeat timeout period which is by default one hour and we can configure it or we can say that even if we have kept it as 300 seconds that is five minutes and we are done with all these commands in two minutes why should we wait for another three minutes what we are saying is if we are done before the timeout period then aws auto scaling should complete the life cycle action with a result life cycle action result of continue for this instance id which we have extracted here and for this life cycle hook for this auto scaling group in this region this is how we should read it and if something has gone wrong before five minutes because that is the timeout period for us then if this if something has gone wrong then this will not work then this command will be fired which is to abandon that is terminate the ec2 instance i repeat so we have created a lifecycle hook which is applicable during the instance launch so as soon as an instance is launched it is put in pending wait status with auto scaling group and now all these commands are being fired while it is in pending wait status that is precisely why lifecycle hook of launch is there and then it if these commands are done before five minutes that is 300 seconds then the first and they're successful then the first command runs that is complete the life cycle action with a result of continue that is continue do not wait for the timeout for this instance id for this life cycle hook for this auto scaling group in this region or if something has not worked as you had expected one of the commands failed or multiple of them then abandon it terminate it as simple as this okay
that is great so let us go ahead and create this yep i think that's everything for this session i know it is tantalizing at this stage we will continue with uh, provisioning instances and observing the behavior in the next lab session. Thank you and looking forward to seeing you in the next session.